New today at 4, after his wife nearly died from a sudden cardiac arrest, a man from Dunwoody has raised tens of thousands of dollars to prevent a future tragedy. And that money bought enough automated external defibrillators, or AEDs, for the entire Dunwoody Police Department. CBS Atlanta's Leslie Tanner is here with the details. Leslie. Yeah, Danielle, Bob Lunston knows what a sudden cardiac arrest can do to a family. His wife's heart stopped at a high school volleyball tournament and no one had the equipment to help. Now he's making sure no other family feels the terror he and his daughters had to endure. I was sitting watching a volleyball game that my daughter was playing, and then all of a sudden I just sort of passed out and just flipped over. It was a pretty devastating moment. Kathy and Bob Lunston relived the moment that changed their lives. While watching their daughter's volleyball tournament, Kathy collapsed from sudden cardiac arrest. It was more than 45 minutes before doctors got her heart beating again, and two weeks before she woke up from a coma. A near-death experience Kathy can barely remember. Just being in the hospital and wondering why I was there in the first place and what all the people were doing there and everything. Bob has made it his personal mission to prevent this from happening again. Over the past four months, he's collected $46,000 from the community to purchase automated external defibrillators or AEDs for the Dunwoody Police Department. Chief Billy Grogan says they're often the first on scene in an emergency, but without an AED on hand, there's little they can do. One of the worst things that a police officer, uh, a feeling that a police officer can have is when they get somewhere and they're helpless. Uh, to help someone. Each police car will hold one of the lunchbox sized units and officers will be trained to use them over the next month. It's a piece of equipment Kathy hopes will simply gather dust. I'm hoping they never have to use it, but if they need to, that it's available. Now, even though they have the AED units, they're not all paid for. Bob still needs to raise another $15,000 to pay off the bill. You can log on to our website, cbsatlanta.com. When you get there, click on web links to find information on how you can help. Live in the studio, Leslie Tanner, CBS Atlanta News.